So there I was, enjoying my morning when all of a sudden I get a Discord DM from a lovely young lad by the name of Epic Bean Boy. It might have been THE Epic Bean Boy. I'm not sure. But regardless, Epic Bean Boy DM'd me and he told me of the Nether being added in to Lifeboat. So of course, I did what any sane person would have done. I dropped everything that I was doing. And I ran to my computer, turned up my, turned, turned up, I turned on my recording software and got ready to record a lifeboat video for the nether. So as you may or may not know, I have not, oh wow, did they change the chest generation? Those items look a lot more randomly placed. Yeah, for sure they did. That's cool. Same amount of items though, right? Yeah. Nine items, eight items. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Anyways, as I was saying, you may or may not know that I have not uploaded a video in quite the long time, but I, I just cannot continue that streak, especially when the lifeboat nether is finally here. I mean, like this, th this, this is a long time coming. They've been promising this to us for a incredibly long time. And now that it's finally here, like it would be a, it would be unjustful for me to not make a video on it. You know what I just realized? We should probably go ahead and check the update book. Nether beta. Yep, there it is. Confirmed. You can get... Excuse me. You can get to the nether dimension through the SM menu's dimension selector or through a traditional nether portal. 1.16 nether update blocks coming soon. Hello? Selector? Oh my god. Dimension button is only for Uber VIP during beta. That is a... That's a rip. So we can't use that button, unfortunately. So we will have to go ahead and grind for our obsidian. I will, I will cut back when that happens. Alright, so after a little bit of farming some obsidian we have enough and we have a flint to make a flint and steel so i probably could have done the lava and the water trick because there's a lava pool right here but we're not going to talk about that because i did not think of that so let's go ahead and build our portal and see what the nether has to offer now here's the moment of truth Hundreds of nether portals being built on lifeboat only for the disappointment of it not actually lighting. And there it is. There's the portal. Wow. Beautiful. Never thought you'd... Bet you never thought you'd see this on SM. Crazy. Alright, let's go in. And here we are. Wow, that looks just like the old nether, just like Epic Bean Boy told us. Got some mushrooms here. Lovely, you'll love to see it. Little little quartz here. Let's pick oh my god, this is gonna be super easy for XP farming. This is I, nether quartz gives you a ton of stuff. As far as XP goes. And it's super plentiful. I'll have to do some testing on it, but this is probably going to be the best way to get XP. For sure. Wow, this is just surreal, honestly, like, actually seeing this in Lifeboat. Like, they promised this, like, um... I don't have the exact date, but I remember, like, watching a live stream and they said it would be by, like, the end of summer. But it was, like, last summer. And now it's, like, almost a year later and it's finally here. A little bit, little bit off target, but we got it. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, are these zombified hoglins or pigmen? Yeah, they're hoglins. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but. And they dropped their normal stuff, golden flesh. Crazy. It doesn't look like anyone's really been here yet besides me because I'm not seeing any uh, blocks or anything. Oh my god, is that another fortress? We have to go check that out. We have to go check that out. Alright, I'm gonna go find a spot down. If, if they have, like, blazes in here, 
that could be huge because like the amount of stuff that opens up with potions I remember hearing a uh, something about potions I don't know if it was like them saying they were gonna add it in or not gonna add it in but yeah there's the blaze spawner right there we'll have to go up and see that's crazy like if you can make a brewing stand with that and if there's like nether wart accessible that's gonna be insane glowstone's nice too because that's good for lighting and builds and stuff That'll be cool to see if people do anything with that. I don't see any mobs near those, so I'm doubting that there's actually going to be, uh... Blazes. Maybe, actually. Yeah, there are. Oh my god, there are. There actually are. Easy there, comrade. Okay, not, not the play, not the play. Not the play. Not the play! All right, so we are dead. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go try and get back to where we were. All right, we are back. I had to, I had to go look at my recording, and I, I had to go look at my recording and see where my death coordinates were. But we're back, so let's go ahead and grab that stuff. And there it is. Some of it probably went into the lava, but imagine I died there. That would have been hilarious. Probably would have been smart to bring some armor down here with me now that I'm thinking about it. Alright, so we're gonna go try and take on a blaze and steal its rods. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Alright, and I can barely see. I need to grab some torches. These do nothing, but it's the best we got. And there's one right there. I wonder if the uh, other spawners work now too, like the dungeon spawners. Probably not, but it's worth a try to go ahead and look. All right, no blaze rod from that one. I don't think they're actually setting me on fire. You, I can't really see because this RTX pack is a slight little bit bugged, but I don't think they are. Or if they are, it's only for a second because I'm not getting any like delay damage. If I had a bow, that'd be really nice. I don't think that one dropped anything. Uh, just got to kill this last one now. Oh, it dropped it. Please don't go in the lava. All right, we're good. So there's one down there. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And there we have it. Look at that. Beautiful little blaze run. Like, this is this is probably the biggest, like, especially if brewing works, this will be the biggest update in SM history. No, I don't want to say SM history. But at least for a very long time. It's like, even if you look up the map update, which was huge, that was, like, so long ago. We're gonna need a second blaze rod anyway if we want to actually brew because we need the fuel. I wonder if this can break too, because if this can be broken, then like you could monopolize the uh, you could monopolize the potions. Like especially if uh, especially if there's only one of them. I mean there might be like multiple fortresses, but assuming that the nether is not gonna be that big because of you know SM. Like that'd be that'd be pretty powerful. Like it's pretty uh pretty game changing if you can actually make potions with that. All right, I'm gonna go explore the fortress some more because this this place is being stupid. Yeah, this RTX is not doing it for me. I'm gonna turn it off and be right back. Yes, and you do spawn back in the Nether, which is definitely nice. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That is a ton. That is a ton. How did this many spawn? Oh God. That is way more than I think I can handle. Alright, here we are with good old Purple Boy 787. He seems friendly, so we're gonna go ahead and try and find our way back to my loot. Alright, so many deaths later, deaths that I will probably cut out of the video. We are back, and I hear a gas as well. I saw it too, so gas confirmed. It is going crazy out there. Oh, there it is. There's the boy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can't set my spawn. Okay. This gas is literally like a full auto beamer. He, non-stop. I, I have no idea. I don't remember where my stuff is. There's another gas. There it is. I think the gas might have just blown it up. 
How would I rate the nether? Um, look how fast that thing is. Look at that. All right, well, I would I would give it a 10 out of 10 on hardness. Um, instead, thankfully. Okay, one more blaze rod and we can test brewing and I'm out of here. Just do be like that sometimes. Oh my God, this is literally like, I love how hard it is. I love how hard it is. I feel like it's much harder than the vanilla nether. The default nether. With all the uh, full auto gas and the blazes that just can't get enough of uh, shooting you. Like seriously, this is this is so hard. And I feel like that uh, creates a more interesting game experience. Because like, otherwise it just like makes the gap to go to the nether so much easier. Not this guy again. He thinks he's so cool. Quit it! Honestly, like, this video could just be a compilation of me dying, and it would be, like, probably at least, like, five minutes long. He's literally blowing up my spawn point. I won't be able to spawn anymore. What is that? This is harder than actual SM PvP like against the players. Oh my god. Thank god we're out of here. Two blaze rods, that's all I need. We're breaking this thing. Not because I want to stop the blazers from spawning, but because I actually want to see if it's possible. And obviously like, that might make it so no one on the server can get to use a, uh, a spawner, but it's what needs to be done for science, so. Come on. What? Blaze spawner? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me open. Let me open. Let me open. Blaze spawner? That's crazy. That is literally crazy. This. Okay. Okay. This update's absolutely insane. Like, if this thing works. Oh my god. Like, I bet you. I bet you could like, use this to farm XP because these things probably drop a lot of XP, right? All right, well, according to my primitive potion brewing knowledge, we also are going to be needing um, good old nether wood for like 90% of the potions that we can make. So let's go ahead and see if we can grab some of that. And then we'll be on our way out of this. Oh my God, instantly. As soon as I say something, we find it. Actual loot, saddles. That'd be so cool if there was horses, but I, I don't think there's horses, so. So assuming that the, the blaze spawner actually does stop the blazes from spawning, which is super hard to test, obviously, because we don't have, like, a, we, we just can't kill all those blazes, just too many. But assuming it does, like, this thing is, like, so valuable. You could probably sell this and stuff. All right, let's, let's just get out of here. Like, it's, it's time. All right, so we are back. I, I, uh... Did a little respawn there with my spawn point cleared. Packed everything into this backpack, right? All right, so after consulting the ancient texts of the Minecraft wiki, I have brushed up on my knowledge of potions. And so I feel like I am ready to find a nice little spot where I won't get killed and see if potions are makeable. All right, so here we are in our nice little humble Humble little cave thing. Dug this, dug this bad boy out myself. Anyways, let's go ahead and pull out a brewing stand if they are indeed craftable, which I assume, I'm hoping, I'm praying they are. All right, we, we don't have it. Okay, a little blaze rod action going. There, there she is.
And this is me realizing that I don't have any glass or or water. All right, well, I will be right back. All right, so here we are back in our little cave house and we do now have a little bit of sand and a little bit of water. All right, here we go. Bottles, boom, water. No! 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 So close. They don't fill. You gotta be kidding me. That was... They probably disabled that. I think you could fill them before. Can you at least craft this up and like... No. Alright, but now it's time for the main event. Who needs potions when you have this bad boy? Let's get a little fenced off area going here. Oh, time for the... I, I, I don't have a weapon. Okay. That would have been smart to make before. Oh, they're mad. I can hear them. Oh, they're mad. The, the, the little protection zone did not work at all. I think that one did drop XP. Okay, they are not dropping XP, but I do have a lot of blaze rods now. So, I don't really know what the use for this is yet. Um, right, because the only thing you can really craft with blaze powder is potions and ender eyes, neither of which are usable on SM. So, but this is still very cool. All right, let's break this. I don't want these anymore. Did you just see that? I could have sworn that that blaze spawner... I, I could have sworn that that just... Did you see that? Did you see that? Hold up! Hold your horses just a minute now, good sir. I believe I just... Can't open my inventory anymore. Maybe it's because I'm lagging? It's like... Okay, no, okay. No, no, not because I'm lagging. Look at that. Wow. This is... This is... Definitely not broken at all. Like, I, I've gone from... This is, like, literally, like, under a minute, and I'm at 12 levels. And that's the story of how I got and lost 33 levels in Lifeboat Survival Mode. Alright, so there are two other things that I want to test. Firstly, whether or not, um, whether or not, uh, other spawners can be broken from dungeons. And, uh, actually three things. The third is going to be how big the nether is. And then the middle one is whether or not you can put saddles on pigs because... We have a saddle and I want to test that out. After searching for many moons, we have finally found it. A pig. Whoa, those saddles were stacked. Did you see that? Did you see that? Those saddles were definitely stacked into like a stack of two, which you can't do. I don't know. Pretty fishy. Time to see. No. No, it does not work. You can't saddle pigs. So if you do look at that, the, the coordinates of our nether portal and the uh, 
Overworld Nether Portal are very similar. They aren't the exact same, but they are both around 500-500, which makes me think that the Nether is just going to be the same size as the Overworld. But we will see once I make it to the edge. All right, so I've done a little bit of investigating, and I have found, firstly, that the coordinates that the world border starts at is the same on both sides, 1100 and then 50. I've also found that uh, that does not stop the world from generating. The, world, the nether generates pretty much, like, I don't know about infinitely, but it certainly does generate after that for quite a long while. So that is probably a bug they will be fixing. And not really much you can do with that because you can't really go beyond it. And even if you do go beyond it, you can't break blocks and stuff there. So there's really no use for that. And the nether roof, I also checked that. You can go on the nether roof, but you can't place blocks just like in vanilla. And it is like a little glitchy. And mobs do spawn up there, but nothing... Uh, I mean, they spawn up there, but nothing like, you know, crazy, not a whole lot. All right, so here I am post-recording with a few quick notes I want to talk about. Firstly, we got a Twitter link from Shravinda, and if we click on that link, uh, we can see just some basic stuff about the update, but there is one thing I want to talk about right here. He talks about, uh, well, the tweet talks about how you can make brewing stands, and which is a little bit weird because although you can make them, you can't actually make potions yet and so i'm pretty sure that from them saying this is like one of the three main points they are intending to make potions and it's just bugged right now and then we can also see we have a change log on their website i'm really glad they're making these change logs now it's really useful makes it a whole lot easier to uh just see what's been changing instead of like testing it for yourself you can pause it if you want to read it but there are a few things that i want to read out so firstly right here it says that endermen teleport and spawn in the nether and it also says down here that more normal mob ratios in the overworld examples less mushrooms and less endermen which is a little bit weird because i have never seen an enderman i'm pretty sure at least not anytime recently so um if that is the case maybe i'm just unlucky but i am wondering if maybe it is possible to get ender pearls i don't know about that i'm not sure and also right here you can see they fixed the bug where you could place water outside of the border so that no longer allows you to actually build stuff outside of the border and you can no longer like get free sugarcane by doing a little glitch where you could knock it over with the water. And then same thing in the lifeboat discord, same stuff, don't really need to read it. And one more thing, this guy right here, if it was not for him, I might have not known that there was an update for like days. So if you happen to like f see there's an update on SM, I would really appreciate it if you could like slide me a DM and just, you know, tell me there's an update. I'll share it you out in the video and it'd be super helpful so I can start making the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to leave if you want to like the video, that would help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, thank you for watching.